Hi guys and welcome to the Karen Family Diaries. Today I'm going to do an empty house tour of the mobile home. Now there are some boxes in it but nothing has been unpacked yet. Sorry, I am out of breath. I am 16 weeks pregnant and I'm feeling it already. Um, so as you come in from this door, there's only one door. Some of them have two, this one has one. There's just a little door here and it has like the um, boiler for the water. And then the next door to the right, oh, let's see, can we get in here, is the master bedroom. So this is mine and Eddie's room. Um, so you've got wardrobes over bed storage, a little desk, like vanity thing. I probably will take that stool away and put some more drawers under that because I think we'll just need the storage. There's me, uh, on my 16 week baby bump. So there is a door, there's two windows, and a door into the one bathroom. So there's two doors to the bathroom, a door out in the hallway to get to it, and also a door from our bedroom, which is kind of handy. This is the toilet, sink and shower, and a window quite nice quite spacious for a mobile home bathroom and the first door to the left is the kids room so this is what it looks like at the moment ignore the boxes um, with this room this is probably the only room we're really going to change and we're going to pull these out and put a bunk bed here if it'll fit um, I think even if we can't get one that fits, Eddie will probably just make one himself. He is a carpenter, which it would be handier if we could just buy one that we just throw together. Um, but he can make one if he needs to. He's just very busy at the minute. And uh, we'll probably take that out. Um, we might have to take this out as well, depending on how tight it is getting around that. Um, and sort out some other storage. The bunk bed. The bunk bed that I have my eye on for the kids' room, I'll measure up today and see what it fits, has under bed storage. So it has about six drawers, it's quite high, and the bottom bunk, so that would be perfect. Um, and it would save Eddie having to go and buy timber and measure it all up and cut it, and, you know. Um, and this is the kitchen. I stopped recording there. It's all like open plan, these um, mobile homes. So this is the kitchen. A little fridge, um, cooker, space for microwave, cupboards, sink. I like the way the sink is angled in this. I don't know, it makes the space feel much more usable. A lot of the sinks are like here, um, and the cooker is here in a lot of them. I don't know, I just really like this layout better. Um, and this is the like dining area. So we looked at a lot of mobile homes and even the ones we were looking at online had the I don't know why I'm so out of breath, I can't even talk. Um a lot of a lot well not a lot of them, but I'd say maybe a good half of them had like the this seating taken out and a proper table and chairs put in. And I said to Eddie, I definitely want the one with the original seating because a proper table and chairs in these mobile homes are so bulky and in your way and you're moving chairs and I just think it would be a nightmare. At least with this, all you have to do is pull the table out if you want to hoover there and you're not faffing about with chairs and seats. Actually, that extra little stool from the bedroom, we might put it here um, just for extra seating, but I feel like you can fit all of us around this table. And this is the living room then. So, I think I'm gonna take all these neck curtains off because we don't really need privacy here and it'd be nicer just to see straight out into the trees. It kind of obstructs a lot of your view and it probably will let more light in if I take them off. I'm gonna look for like some maybe cream curtains as well because that's not my favorite color, but I mean, it's, it's fine. That's not a priority. <laughs> it will just make me a bit happier. Um, this one went home. We bought it off a couple in Cork who lived in it for four years while they're building their own house. And they kept it so well, like it's immaculately clean. Um, like a lot of the ones that we were looking at 
were we were like oh yeah we can make the mark we do this this and that and i knew i was gonna have to go in and do a big scrub like with this i'm literally just gonna have to wipe things down just because you know it's been in transit and that um but it's spotless spotlessly clean and we were saying that if there was carpet in one we would rip it up and just put laminate down but this carpet is i we will do that in the kids bedroom i don't maybe our bedroom too i haven't even looked at the carpet in our room um but the carpet out here is more or less new. I think it was new when they bought it and they've kept it so clean. So, I mean, with three, with two kids, one on the way, you just can't keep carpet clean, in my experience, especially in a small, small space like this. I'm gonna have a no-shoe rule, but there's going to be spills. That's just the nature of having kids. So I think we'll just keep this here until it needs replacing, until like it just gets grubby, I think. And then put lemon it down, but for now it's fine. Um, and so it's got a gas fire um, that heats up the radiators. Right, we're going to pull that out. Hopefully, before the end of the summer, before winter, we will pull that out and put in a little stove and hook that up to the radiators instead because we have a lot of turf cut. If you don't know what turf is, um, I may have done a vlog from the bog, I think I did actually, I think Eddie vlogged when he went to the bog turning the turf or taking the turf out of the bog. It's basically, you, I'll link it here, um, is it the side? I think it is. <laughs> I can never remember. Um, so yeah, I'll link it It's it, and show you what the bog is. It's, I don't know, I'm sure they have it in other countries, maybe in Europe, um, but Ireland is the only country I know of that we have the bog. It's um, like a marshy sort of land that you cut up. Now they've stopped cutting it commercially um, because you know it's a finite resource but people can still, who have bogs, can still cut from it. Um, but I don't think that will be the case for very much longer so we're just using the turf that we had left. Um, it's for the fire. Did I say that? <laughs> you burn it in the fire. <coughs> so you cut up the marshy land, the bog, and then you stack it and it dries out. You turn it, dries out more. And then you bring it out and just store it in a shed and it, there's nothing like a turf fire. It's just the smell of it that it's, it's gorgeous. But um, yeah, I don't think they'll be around for too much longer. Um, but with a little stove, we can put, you know, renewable sort of, um, well, turf, turf is renewable, it just takes a long time to renew. Um, so, yeah, it'd be better than with, um, like, burning wood or whatever instead. Um, better than gas, anyway. Um, and we won't need much to heat this small space. So we're going to put the uh, TV in that here. I think we might have to take that cupboard down. We'll see how everything fits in. It would be kind of good if we could keep that there, but I don't think our telly is going to fit there. Um, yeah, so that is our empty mobile home tour. Um, the next probably mobile home related <laughs> video will be me unpacking boxes and trying to find a space for every, everything which I'm really really looking forward to so I'm actually gonna start that today so um yeah give this video a big, big thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already um, I have a series of pregnancy videos um, and updates as I am pregnant with my third child now um, we also did a big travel uh, about oh, how many weeks, I don't know, five weeks traveling up the east coast of Australia and New Zealand in a motorhome. Um, we have that playlist, I will link it for you if you're interested in that. And our big international move from Australia to Ireland, a lot has been going on with our family at the minute. That is, uh, that's us, that's how we like to roll, we like to keep busy. So yeah, there's plenty going on on my channel if you'd like to check it out and we'd love to have you as a subscriber. Um, and thanks to all the subscribers for your continued support on this channel. It really means a lot to me um, and Eddie and the kids. They they love watching their own vlogs and um, getting messages from people, so it's really cool. Um, anyway, I will see you in the next one. Bye.